Welcome to the Rent and Link Vault, where we introduce you to videos that you may or may not have seen yet. Okay, before we get into it, as we've said the past two days, make your video response now to be featured in one of the first episodes of Good Mythical Morning Season 2. That's when you say, I'm person from the place I'm from, Good Mythical Morning, as opposed to let's talk about that. Make your video response and show up at the beginning of Season 2. And we're going to let you know, this is the easy letdown. We're actually gonna have our last episode of the Rhett and Link Vault tomorrow, Friday, and then we're gonna have a week of nothing, absolutely nothing on our second channel in preparation for coming back strong, big, loud, like you never seen before on August 6th, Good but, Mythical Morning Season 2. Okay, today we're going back in the vault to February 18th, 2008, the Dead iPod song. Uh, it's, it's, you know, the whole exercise of the vault has allowed me to go back and watch. I don't go back and watch our videos that often. I don't watch our new videos. <laughs> this is what this is one of. <laughs> this I mean, is one of. Jason be, found that funny. You want to be honest about it. Uh, th this is one that on paper I think okay yeah if I'm gonna go back and watch a video I'm gonna go back and watch our Dead iPod song because I think it will be good. And now that I've gone back and watched it I can't decide how I feel about it. You know I I. I wish I could just go back and enjoy them, like hopefully you are, but instead I'm prone to be critical. But that's but part, of this, that's part of the That's part of the process. I mean, we're not asking you to go and leave critical comments on videos that are several years old. I mean, if that makes you feel better about yourself, then I do it all day long. I don't really care. No, they're not doing that. But they're being supportive. It's it's more about just going back and seeing how and you know, it's funny because we were just talking a second ago about the whole thoughtful guy cover song contest and how it was cool to see so many people making their first YouTube video. In fact, one of our winners, Julia, made her first ever YouTube video as part right. of, her, of her entry. And you know, it's just like, this video, this Dead iPod song is very reminiscent of a lot of those entries. It was just like, I'm gonna go and just make a video. It's, it's like just, just it's, the two of us, just making a video. It's a spirit of creativity. It's like, okay, we've written this song, now let's make this thing today. Today. Okay, so we shot it around our studio in Lillington. You'll see the, the white brick where, if you look at the Facebook song, you realize we shot that and the Dead iPod song around the same exterior, which was right. our studio at the time. And then the internal shot, inside shot, where Rhett and I are holding up the iPods that have the goofy, weird versions of us on them. Helmeted versions. You see, you'll see behind us that there's a, one wall that has developed pictures like not digitally printed, but like four by six pictures on the wall. Yeah, like Walgreens pictures. And um, that's where we worked. And that's where all of the shots from our documentary, Looking for Miss Locklear, we exported stills, developed those, and then made a moving timeline to decide how we wanted to edit the thing. That's what's in the background. And then for the, for the house shots, like pulling out the drawer full of iPods, that was at my Nana and Papa's house, just because it happened to be close by. Where can we go to get a drawer? Well. They've got one. Nana and Papa have one. And this is actually, I believe, our first ever collaboration. You, you'll see I, Justine, is in this video. We were actually, we were friends over the internet with Justine somehow. I think we were both video creators on the site Rever. Rever was a site that was around the same time as YouTube, but they were already paying this very small revenues. They had yeah. ads, basically. They kind of introduced the whole ads over video. So we were on there, Justine was on there, it was a very small group of people, so we got to know her, and then we had this idea for the song. We were like, hey, she was in Pittsburgh at the time before she was in LA. Hey, would you just film yourself? I think she was in a hotel room somewhere else. Right, but she was living in, in Pennsylvania at the time. And you'll notice in the back, now this is for those of you who've been on YouTube for a long time, this is some obscure YouTube trivia here. There's a girl that pops out from behind I Justine in this video a couple of times, and that's actually Brooke Brodak. Brookers is her name, and she was one of like the very early First wave, 2005 right. YouTube star, and then she went on to be the star of the Hunger Games. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, right. Yeah, she's a, I have she's not, the lead in Hunger Games. I have that, not seen that, that is not movie, true. but I was told that she's the lead in that movie, and that we are thanked in the credits. Really? No. So, uh, what, what else do we want to talk about? What, what the shot that I've got it paused on here? What, we have the shot of the future where your grandkid finds your dead iPod and it's like, what, what is this? I even feel this now. I had to ask the question, do they still sell iPods? I mean, you know, I got iPhones, but why have an iPod anymore? So you can play MP3s and without making phone calls. But our point is when our grandkids or great grandkids or who, however kids they'll be in 2058 AD, they will find the iPod and say, do you listen to music on this? 
Well, and I think our, and they'll wear visors. Yeah, our interpretation of the future is Over that everyone, eyes. old and young, will wear LeVar Burton's ish from Star Trek. Jordy was it? Jordy? Sure. Jordy was his name. One of these things. It actually is is funny because you know what that actually looks like. The Inuits actually have ancient sunglasses that they wear in the Arctic that keeps them from getting uh, sun blindness. They wear those. So it's actually like a, a going back into the ancient <laughs> past yeah, it's, it's, to do it's something in the cyclical. future. And then yours were red and you wore a powdered wig. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> as Jason pointed out a second ago when we were watching this, apparently powdered wigs are going to make a resurgence in, in, in the in mid-century. Mid in 2058. So enjoy the Dead iPod song. You can also download it on iTunes if you don't have it yet. Please do that. Okay, click down here. Inspired by Simon and Garfunkel. Really? I don't know how, but yes. Simon, Garfun Simon and Garfunkel auto-tuned. I was listening to them at the time. <laughs>